Do you like the Cowboys pick? I knew you was on their payroll. I knew it. Yeah, I'm not going to go to War Daddy here, but I did do this on a Facebook Live. I did about <clears throat> Cowboys draft potential about a month ago, and I said that day on Facebook Live, I would love Taco Charlton to fall to him. I didn't think he would at that point a month ago. And I said, I, I also would be happy with Jabril Peppers there. Mm -hmm. And it shocked me that he went much higher and was obviously long gone off the board. Ta uh, Taco Charlton is the flip side to me of Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett is off the chart measurable, right? Yes, but I, I don't agree. know if we've ever seen much better of a freakish specimen than Miles Garrett. But on productivity, on what I call my screen test, watching television, every time I turned on Michigan, I saw Taco Charlton, ward number 33. I don't know, it's a weird number to be wearing yeah, coming off the edge. Yeah, but, uh, but, but here he came, 33. And he disrupted, and he harassed, and he's tall and long, and he got his hands up, and he knocked balls down, and he got his hands on the quarterback, and a lot of times he knocked the quarterback down. And he really disrupted Ohio State's offense consistently in that Ohio State-Michigan game this year past. So I'm, I'm good with the immeasurables of Taco Charlton for a – a defense that you realize they generate a pressure on quarterbacks, 23% of the dropbacks that they faced last year, which is pretty awful. Yeah. So they needed Taco Charlton. So I'm okay. But here's – you read my first tweet, the one in all caps, because I was out of my mind. You and I agreed on one thing going into this draft, <laughs> that Reuben Foster was clearly the most productive defensive player in the entire draft. Yes. All you had to do is turn on any Alabama St. Nick defensive game, and who jumped off your screen? I think he wore 10. 10? Yeah, ten. number 10, another weird number, but 10 is everywhere. He's sort of Ray Lewis-like at the U, right? We're, yep. we're just sideline to sideline, <coughs> blowing up this play, blowing up that play. He was a defensive demon. And you just say, that's a football player, yes, man. that's what you're looking right? for. Right? Yes. And so when – you and I had an off-camera conversation yesterday, and you were saying something about, well, hey, if he's there at 20, Denver's going to take yeah. him. And I said, if he's there at 20, that'll be the steal of the draft. He was there at 28. He fell, obviously, because a dilute sample test and because of an anger management issue, an incident that he and had. He, I think the, he had sh shoulder surgery also. Okay, yeah. all right, maybe that's part of it. I, I, No one made a big deal out of that, right. but it could be part of it. Yes. Maybe he hangs around with the wrong people, and as I put at the end of my all-caps tweet, maybe the, area, the, the issue is more serious than I know about. Right. But I slept on it. And when I woke up, you know what my gut feeling was? They should have taken Be Reuben Foster. He isn't a pass rusher, though. He can rush the passer. Yep. He can blitz. And he's not a cornerback, and they obviously need cornerbacks, and he's not a safety, and they need safeties. He's just the best football player times 10 on the board. Yep. He's better at what he does than Taco Charlton is at what no he question, does. No question about that. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't like that word fine because it doesn't say a lot, but that's what I am with Taco. It's not a swing and a miss. It's not a, oh, my God, what were you thinking? It's just a fine, okay, I can live with it kind of pick. Right. It's just fine. This garden would have been variety. great garden variety. This is, my God, we got Reuben Foster. Like, here we come because you just figure it out. You just put it. I know you've got Sean Lee and you can say, where does he? I don't care. You just figure it out. You put Sean, in hey. this defense, Sean Lee goes to his best position, which is the Derrick Brooks Will linebacker. You, got you put Reuben Foster right. in the middle. The middle. The Reuben Foster, if you're if if I'm a evaluator, if I'm a coach, if I'm yeah. a defensive guy, I want to I want my defensive guys, especially D linemen, linebackers, and safeties, I want them to be two things, Skip. I want them to be sudden and yep. I want them to be violent. <laughs> Those are two traits that you must have to be great. Right. And this guy had it times 10 Ooh. on both counts. Now, I like Taco Charlton just because of his name. I love his name. I, I, yeah. Do we got a, I just want to know, do we got a brother named Burrito, a sister named Chalupa? Because our wardrobe lady, her name is Autumn. She got sisters named Spring and Summer. Oh. So they got the... My that's sister, why you asked her. Yeah. Yeah. My sister's name coming. is Grace. Joy and Grace. Joy and Grace? Joy and Grace? I, like, I like Grace better. Grace, Grace, my girl. Yeah. I love me some Grace. Okay. The old Joy, she, I, she, I, yo, she's fine. You, she's fine. Garden variety. <laughs> but Skip, you know what? This draft is deep, deep in corners. Now... And I'm thinking as I, and I, when they take this pick, I'm like, okay, they could have gone corner. But this draft is really deep in corners, and I'm, I'm looking at some of the corners that they had a value that Mark 
-hmm. And then Stephen Jones comes out and says, well, in the second round, we're going to be looking for a corner because it's really deep in I don't know if you really want to advertise that, but hey, that's the way they do business. But I like this skip. You know who he reminds you of? Minus the landscaping problem with the grass, mm -hmm. Randy Gregory. That's who he's built like. A rangy, lanky guy, really disruptive. Yep. And now, can he anchor? Because pass rushers, the guys that come in that's built like them, you run the ball at them. You do. You see if they can see, I, I they see how, how many bricks you got in your back pocket, yep. and can you can you anchor down? Mm -hmm. That's what I want to see. Yep. Now, he gets an opportunity to go against some very good uh, 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 tackles in practice. Tyron Smith, Lionel, Lyle Collins will be back. So he'll get an opportunity. Now, if they don't break his confidence, if he can beat those guys a That's couple true. of times in practice, he's going to be the deal with, Skip. I, I like the pick because it was a need pick. They needed him. Now, I don't know how high he was on their board. So he might have. it might have been a situation where we need this. Mm -hmm. He might not be the best player available, yep. but it is a need position. Yep. And sometimes teams go with need over best available mm -hmm. because there's no question that Reuben Foster is a better player than Taco Chart. Okay, but you brought up, fittingly, fatefully, Randy Gregory. Two years ago, they took a flyer on him and was it the second round, yeah. and he'd had all kinds of marijuana issues and been mm -hmm. suspended several times in college at Nebraska, Yep. and he's gone again. Yep. Maybe gone for good, I yep. don't know. And I'm wondering if, I'm thinking that, on the clock, as Ruben fell to them, they clearly had fallen in love already with Taco Charles. He Correct. went in for a visit. Marinelli, Rod Marinelli, the defense mm -hmm. coordinator, he had hit it off. There's a coach from Michigan named Greg Jackson, now a DB coach with the Cowboys, who knew him and had coached him for a year at Michigan so he could say, hey, you know, whatever, personality-wise, he'll be a great fit here. I'm wondering if they looked at Ruben Foster's issues, the dilute sample, mm -hmm. and thought, hey, we swung and missed with Randy Gregory. We've had our issues before with other, I can give you a big laundry list of players they've swung and missed up where they took high risks on, Greg mm -hmm. Hardy. Yes. And maybe they just said, let's just stay put. We, we already decided we love this, that Taco, if he's there, we're going to take him. But, man, Reuben Foster, unless there's something we don't know, yeah, right. the shock of the night was that he fell all the way to 31 where the 49ers. I tell you what. In 1996, there was a guy that fell to number 26, and Ozzie Newsom was the general manager, and he scooped him up. He was an undersized linebacker that they said he was too small and this and the that. And all I know is that when you have a conversation about the greatest middle linebackers to ever play the game, his name always comes up, yep. and that's Ray Lewis. If you put 52 on that guy, I can't that remember how, fall, how far did Ray fall in the 20s? He's a 20. I think he's 26. Six. Okay. Woo, man. Because he was undersized. And, he didn't have any issues off the field. And and Ray was like this. He was sudden. He was. And when he got there, he was violent. Mm -hmm. This is Reuben. Reuben Foster. Yeah. He, when you look at him, if you look at his tape, his tape looks favorable like Luke Kinkley. Mm -hmm. It looks like a Ray Lewis when he, they were in it college. Does. Yeah. That's what he looks like. Mm -hmm. Now, the 49ers getting him at 31, mm -hmm. they got a great deal.